A daring leap took a dangerous turn. A college student ended up wedged between two buildings for hours after trying to jump from roof to roof in an attempt to impress a girl. He fell three stories and needed emergency crews to pull him out. John Shumway is following the story for us, and he's live with more. John. Yeah, the good news is that Grant Birdsong is here in Presby tonight, and it's going to be okay. But about 15 hours ago or so, he, along with the girl that he was with, thought it'd be a great idea to climb a fire escape and get up on the roof of a couple of businesses on Forbes Avenue. It didn't quite go so well. Pittsburgh Paramedic Rescue Squad trains for tough situations, but this one ranks right up there. The call came in around 2 a.m. There's a male who is trapped between two buildings. In a gap that ranged from 16 to 18 inches wide in the pitch blackness, 22-year-old Grant Birdsong could not move, wedged in a small space suspended about five feet above the ground. This young woman herself as his girlfriend. She was with him at the time and alerted first responders to his plight. A young man met a woman uh, this evening, took her up to the rooftop, and in an attempt to try to impress her, jumped from one building to the next and fell in between the two. Birdsong fell about three stories and could talk to the police and paramedics on the roof, but lifting him out was out of the question. So the only option was punching a hole through the wall of Qdoba restaurant. But figuring out where to punch that hole wasn't easy. One of the paramedics did repel down it three stories to render assistance and also provide us some landmarks as to where he was. After several hours of digging and jackhammering, Birdsong was finally free. He was alert and talking. Obviously, he was there for three and a half to four hours, so he's obviously numb. The manager of Qdoba says this could not have come at a worse time with students just returning to Pitt and CMU. I thought it was going to be a hole to patch, but we're going to have to remove the entire interior wall. Throughout the day, plenty of people were coming by to see the hole, no, no. snap a picture, and offer commentary on Grant Birdsong's efforts to impress. And how is that going to impress her? You know, I don't understand that part. I think he's an idiot for doing it. I hope he's okay, though. He's got a broken ankle. That's, oh, it? that's it? All right, well, I don't feel bad then. It's fine. That was stupid. <laughs> now, Birdsong, who is a student at the University of Pittsburgh and from Indiana Township, had to undergo surgery this afternoon here at Presby in order to repair that broken ankle. He tonight is reported in fair condition. No word from police whether any charges will be filed. Live in Oakland, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.